Hey guys, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, then welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, in today's video, I have a dupe video, and I'm really, really excited to share these great dupes with you guys. Um, so we are gonna be doing the real makeup eraser versus the dupe makeup eraser. Let me go ahead and pull them out of the bag and show you guys. So I did order the um, real makeup eraser on Amazon. I did get it on sale for $14, but it um, retails for $20. So here is the original makeup eraser. Um, I will take them both out of the pack and show you, but just one second. And then here are the dupes. So these are the makeup vanishing towels and these are from Sassy and Chic at the Dollar Tree. So these are $1, you guys. So I'm really, really excited to see how these compare. So now for the Sassy and Chic, I have been using this for like the last week and I think it does an all right job. But for the makeup eraser, this is like a first impressions for me. So I'm really, really excited to compare the two. So, um. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I would normally use to take my makeup off, all the micellar waters, the eye makeup remover. I'm gonna show you guys all that, but for today's video, we are solely gonna be relying on water to take all this makeup off. So I'll be doing the dupe on one side and I'll be doing the real makeup eraser on the other. So let's go ahead and jump on in, you guys. So I'm just gonna first start by um, putting my hair up because I'm not in the bathroom, you guys. I'm in my bedroom. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and put the hair up. So honestly, you guys, when I'm taking my makeup and stuff off at night, I do put my hair up in a big bun on the top of my head. So that's what I'm gonna do. I might look a little bit funny and my ears are super small, but don't pay attention to that. So I'm gonna do the... Um, Dollar Tree one on my right and I'm going to do the real one on my left. So first things first, I'm going to take off my lashes. Okay guys, so now what I would normally use on my eyes to take my makeup off is the Quake Beauty Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. So this is a dupe for the Neutrogena. I am almost out, but thankfully I do have an extra bottle in my bathroom. But this takes my eye makeup off like magic. I mean, it's so, so good. It doesn't leave any leftover residue. Like it takes it all off, like waterproof mascara, like really hard i want to say glitters it really doesn't take glitter off nothing takes glitter off for me but it does take like it does take most of it off and then what i would usually use for my face makeup is the l'oreal marcellar water um i usually really really like to use this stuff it leaves my face feeling really hydrated and it does take all the makeup off so i'm really nervous to see what just water can do so i have my bowl right here of water and i do have this filled up with almost hot water i'm really nervous about this you guys so i'm first like i said i'm gonna go in with the um makeup vanishing towel first and show you guys what it looks like so this is a little circle pad and it's almost soft like if you guys ever felt like feel those soft blankets that's exactly what it feels like and i'm going to take the makeup eraser out just so we can kind of compare of what they look like and feel like so now the makeup eraser is much bigger i mean like a crap ton bigger which i don't know why you would need a pad this big to wipe your makeup off okay so first feeling you guys they feel very very similar they're both like that soft blanket texture. Um, and then the rim around this one is a little bit thicker than this one, but they do feel very, very similar. Um, the makeup eraser itself is a little bit more thick and padded than this, but this is just smaller and thinner. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna take in the Dollar Tree one first. So no matter how soaked you get this, guys, when you wring it out, it almost feels like dry on the face. So like I said, I'm just going to do this half of my face. Now I do have glitter eyeshadow on my eyes. Well, it's not like glitter, but it's like sparkle glitter eyeshadow. Um, so we're going to really put this to the test and see if it can take this off without using any micellar water. So I usually like to start with the face and then I work my way to the eyes. So like I said, I'm just going to do half. I'm really nervous about this actually getting my eye makeup off, like super nervous, which I see it coming off in the pad, of course, but I mean, it's a different story when it's actually taking it off your eyes. Now I'm gonna start taking it on my eyeshadow, which there was one wipe and it did get most of it off. I mean, the most thing I'm concerned about is, is it gonna leave like yucky residue on my face? Like, can I actually use these products without having to cleanse my face? Like, that's the big goal here. Um, regardless, I'm probably still gonna always cleanse my face just to make sure everything is off. But I just wanna see if I could stray away from cleansing my face. Like if one night I was really lazy and I just wanted to use this without cleansing my face, how it would be. Okay, you guys, as I'm looking, so far, so good. I do have some specks of glitter falling in my face, but that is to be expected because even with my salad water and makeup wipes, I can't ever seem to get it all the way off. But um, so far, so good. 
Okay, you guys, now let's move on to the makeup razor. And like I said, once again, this thing is freaking ginormous. Like, I don't know, it's just really, really big. Okay, so I'm just going to start now wiping off of this side so you guys can get a good look at makeup on and makeup off. Okay, you guys, and I almost feel like this is definitely... I'm getting it off a little bit quicker than the dupe, but the eye is always going to be the test because the eye is what has the most makeup on it. So it has taken me just as many wipes to get my bottom lash mascara off on this side as it did with the dupe side. But let's go ahead and see what one wipe does on the eyeshadow. Wipes. Honestly, you guys, this isn't impressing me any more than the dupe side did. I mean, truthfully, I think the dupe one got more of the eyeshadow off on the other side than it did um, for the makeup eraser side. Honestly, you guys, the dupe is definitely working better right now for me. Um, you guys seen I had the same amount of makeup on each side. In the dupe side, I got the eyeliner off fairly easy. Now with the real makeup eraser, it's just not coming off that easy for me. And I'm pretty sure you can use either side because both sides do feel the exact same. Now for the face makeup part, I feel like the makeup eraser did do a little bit of a better job for the actual foundation and stuff. But for the eyes, I, it didn't do any better of a job, which I definitely would expect it to. I mean, you're paying dollar versus $20. I would definitely expect it to be better. Okay, guys. And then what I would normally use for cleanser is the simple sensitive skin experts kind of skin refreshing facial wash. So I get mine at TJ Maxx and I paid $5 for this, but this has hands down been my favorite cleanser in years. Like I used to use the clean and clear, like the Rocky one, but I really felt like that dried my skin out like so, so bad where I wasn't able to get moisture back to it. This does not dry my skin out and it does prevent acne. And I just feel like I just so happy I found this because it does really work miracles, miracles for my skin. And this is 100% soap free gel. So like I said, I get this at um, TJ Maxx and like I said, it, it is $5 there. It says compare at $7. So I'm not really sure, um, but I am almost running out and I went back up to TJ Maxx like last weekend and they did not have any. So I'm hoping very soon that they restock so I can go back up and get more. But yeah, if you guys are struggling with acne and you're struggling with dryness, I would suggest trying this stuff out because it really has helped my skin so, so much. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and then cleanse my face. And then I'll come back, show you guys what I use to moisten my skin, all that good stuff. And then we'll talk about the dupe and the makeup brace and I'll give you my final thoughts. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so after I cleanse my skin, I always go in with a scar cream. This one is the Scars of Scar Treatment Cream. This has organic aloe vera. It has cocoa butter. It has mineral oil. It has retinol. And it has a bunch of other ingredients and a lot of vitamin E, you guys. I feel like I picked up my skin a lot when I was younger, and I still do to this day. Um, not as bad as I did when I was younger, but I do have a lot of a dark scarring on my face, and I feel like going in with a scar cream under my moisturizer is just gonna help lighten up those dark marks from picking. Um, so yeah, this is what this looks like. So I've actually had this for a few years. I got it on Amazon, but I know like, I think it was like last year, I tried to find it again and it was no longer available. But the um, claims are it diminishes scarring from surgery, burns, and injuries. So what I do is I just take a little bit on my nail. If I don't have nails on, I'll just use my finger, of course. But I just apply it on both cheeks. So I focus it on my cheeks and then I will um, put the rest all over my face. But my cheeks is where I have the most scarring. But I like it because it does make my skin really smooth as well. And I always go over my eyes with all my moisturizers just because my eyes need a little bit of softness too. Okay guys, now there's two different moisturizers that I like to use for my skin. So the first one is the Olay Moisturizing Lotion. This is all day hydration. It's light and it's non-greasy. So I absolutely love using this in the morning because like it, like it says, um, it is an all day hydration and it's light and it's not greasy. Um, and then the second one that I love using is the Garnier Fruit Teas. This is extra nourishing with aloe vera and almond. So I like using this more so for nighttime because it is really, really thick. And I feel like giving your skin 12 hours when you're sleeping or eight hours, whatever it is, I feel like 
wearing something like this on your face can really heal, heal up all those dry spots. So I absolutely love using this for nighttime. And if you can tell, the bottle is really yellow, you guys. There is almost literally nothing left. Um, I've been using this, like I said, guys, for a pretty long time. There is barely anything left in the tube, but this is really, really good stuff. And I don't even think you can find this anymore. They have different ones. They have the Garnier Fruit Teas Rose, which I do have as well. But I just feel like the rose one isn't as good as this one right here. So since it is almost nighttime and I'm taking my makeup and stuff off, I'm going to go in with the Garnier one. Same thing. I just like to dot some on each cheek. Now, this stuff is very, very thick, so you don't need a lot. Like, I just applied a lot, but you don't need that much. But like I said, guys, this makes my skin so incredibly soft. And I feel like when I wake up in the morning, like my skin, it just feels so moisturized. Like I don't have any dry spots and it doesn't make me break out. Like I don't like moisturizers that make me feel like heavy and greasy. I like something that can moisturize my skin without doing that. So now, like this is in the bottle, you can use this as a mask and take it back off or you can use it as an all night moisturizer and just take, kind of take it off in the morning when you shower or cleanse your face. And then at nighttime, I always go in with something to moisturize my lips. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Baby Lips. So this has SPF of 20 in it as well. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the day, probably like five years ago, this stuff was the shit. Like everybody used this stuff. And I just repurchased mine on Amazon like a few months ago. Yeah, I figured I would show you guys my skincare routine just because I haven't done that on my channel yet. And I felt like this was a good time to do it, especially because I was taking all my makeup off to review the makeup eraser anyways. So yeah. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about my final thoughts on the makeup eraser and the dupe. So the makeup eraser for $20, you guys, or the dupe for a dollar. My final thoughts, you guys, you probably know what I'm going to say already. The dupe, the $1 dupe is 100% better. Like when I heard people raving about the makeup eraser, I was really excited to try it. And then I tried the dollar one first and I'm like, okay, like this is good, but what's the makeup eraser gonna do? If this can take my eyeshadow and my makeup off, then the makeup eraser is gonna have to be a hundred times better. Well, I was wrong, you guys. The makeup eraser isn't any better, you guys. They have the same material. Like, I'm not even kidding. The material on this is the exact same. They did the exact same thing for me. If not, the dollar one was better because it did get my eye makeup off a lot quicker and better than the makeup eraser. So you guys, they're my final thoughts. If you're going to do anything, go with the dollar when you can find it right at your local Dollar Tree. Like it's a dollar and it's going to save you guys from spending money on makeup wipes. And just a fair warning, if you guys are using the real one or the dupe, always make sure to cleanse your skin afterwards because this doesn't get everything. In my opinion, it just doesn't get all that like leftover product over your ears, all the product in like the crease of your nose. It just doesn't get all that. So always make sure you're cleansing afterwards if you want to actually get every single drop of makeup off your face. But um, if you guys follow all these steps, then your skin should be looking glowy and dewy in no time. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video down low. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys all for watching and tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.